Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be on some new drugstore products that just launched and I was really excited to try them out and show you so I picked them up to show you guys in this video. I feel like the year started right for more affordable products. I feel like I was more excited to try these than I've been excited to try any of the higher end products that have come out so far. So I picked all three of them up and I'm going to tell you guys what I think about them throughout this video. Besides that, I'll also be doing a full face of drugstore makeup with you. So I hope that you guys are excited for the video. If you are, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. Also, if you're new to my channel, my name is Patty. Do not forget to subscribe before you leave. Everything that is on my face is going to be linked down in the description box of this video. So if you have any questions about any products that I am applying, please go ahead and check it out down there. So yeah, let me go ahead and shut up now. Let's go ahead and get started. I was so excited to finally see some products at the drugstore that I was excited to try and test out. I don't think I've ever been more intrigued and curious about a drugstore palette before, so I cannot wait to get into these. So today we are going to be talking about the new Mineral Wear Diamond Dust Highlighter from Physicians Formula. We will also be trying out the new Milani Gilded Terra palette. If you haven't seen this one yet, this is what it looks like right here. I was very delightfully surprised to see Milani come out with this palette right here and I cannot wait to try it. I don't think I've tried Milani eyeshadows before. Um, I think when they first released their single eyeshadows a long, long time ago, I bought a couple of those and I actually did really like them but since then i have not tried or worn any milani eyeshadows and i cannot wait to dig into these and then they also launched this blush right here this is the cheek kiss cream blush the one i got is the color 110 nude kiss and i have to say i really do enjoy wearing cream blushes every once in a while so i'm very excited to try this one i definitely love the color that i chose and so let's go ahead and get into it i think in order to make myself familiar with the milani formula i'm going to first swatch the palette and show you the swatches and that way i can kind of feel the textures of the shadows i have to say these are some good shadows i haven't put them on my eye i don't know how long they're going to wear i don't know any of that but these swatches are incredible this was one pass swatches i didn't double dip into the pan at any point and just look at how pigmented each one of those looks i went ahead and swatched them in the same order that they appear on the palette there are some shades in here i'm super excited to try out for sure the only negative thing that I've seen so far while I swatched them is that these are some very softly pressed shadows and so I feel like a few of them might be a little bit powdery. So I'm going to be extremely careful when applying these shadows because I feel like they might give me a lot of fallout. I will go ahead and do them before I do my face makeup so that should help for sure. And so we're going to get right into it. Let's go ahead and try out this palette. I'm going to try my best to use very affordable slash drugstore products for my whole face in this video. And so I'm going to start by priming my eyes with my Alter Ego Eyeshadow Primer. I really like this eyeshadow primer because it makes my eyelids a little sticky. And so it really makes the eyeshadows adhere very nicely. So if you're on the market for a really good affordable eyelid primer, I definitely recommend this Alter Ego one. I zoomed you guys in just a little bit so you can be a little closer when I'm doing my eye makeup. I'm going to start right here with this color Bloom. And I grabbed the color Bloom with my Refer number 15 brush and I'm just going to make it my transition shade. So I'm back and forth going to blend it right here on the crease of my eye. And of course I'm going to do the same thing right here on this one, just back and forth with my Refer number 15. Back a second time to build it up and because it was a teeny tiny bit patchy i had to do the same thing on this one so by adding a little bit more of that same shadow it blended out very nicely and the little patches went away by the way this milani palette was only 19.99 so a really affordable price for my second color i think i'm going to grab road to nowhere up here 
and I'm going to intensify the crease of my eye with it and I'm doing that with my refer number one brush so I'm just back and forth swiping and blending it into that first color we put on and that blended very seamlessly into that first shade no complaints about this one at all let me go ahead and just repeat on this side also just note that I haven't really gotten any fallout so that's really nice I have been very careful in picking up my shadows and like not picking up too much product because I did notice that they were a little powdery so I feel like it would be easy for them to like kind of fall underneath my eye but so far so good I want to intensify things even more so with that same brush I'm going to get the color branch out this one felt really nice when I swatched it and very intense immediately so this one can deepen up a look very easily check that out and I'm just blending it in back here into my outer corner with my refer number two brush I'm going to get a little bit of the color sage advice and I'm going to put it right here over the brown a little bit just a teeny tiny bit this is not the color I want all over my eyelid just right here between the middle of your eye and the outer corner same thing here and now I'm going to get the color Glamping with that same brush. This is one of the colors that I'm most excited about in this palette because it is such a beautiful gold foiled shade. And I'm going to tap it on the eyelid all the way to where the green is. This one it was not going on super smooth with the brush, so I'm trying my finger instead. Back with the green, I'm just going to blend it inwards a little bit. That gold shade was a little bit disappointing, but whatever. I think with the finger it looked okay. Same thing here. I think I like the green shade better than I like the gold shade, honestly. <laughs> so I think I'm going to make the green a little thicker because I love that green shade. Make sure you bring it in the same distance on both eyes. Now I do have some fallout from the gold shade. Okay, so... This is the top of the eyes. Let's move on to the face and then we'll finish them up and do the inner corner highlighter and all of that. I'm wiping off the fallout underneath my eyes. I'm going to clean this edge back here. For primer, I'm going to use my Good Molecules Priming Moisturizer. This is my favorite affordable primer slash moisturizer. It gives me a lot of hydration. It blurs out my pores. I have honestly really enjoyed it every time I've worn it. It makes the perfect base for your foundation to lay on top of and good molecules is such a nice affordable brand i honestly have loved most of the products that they've sent my way i think their stuff is so good for foundation i'm going to use the ordinary foundation i have the color 2 neutral and 1.2 neutral and i'm going to i think mix them together because um two is a little bit too dark and the 1.2 is a little bit too light so I'm just mixing them right here on the back of my hand and I'm going to apply them with my beauty blender <laughs> My face is super red today because my face does not like winter and it's really cold outside And I was outside for a little while earlier just like running errands nothing out of the ordinary, but My face just didn't like it. <laughs> I absolutely love the ordinary foundation by the way It is such lightweight and it has such an amazing coverage I also love that it has a really beautiful luminous finish to it and it just covers everything that I need covered for sure. <laughs> for concealer I'm going to combine two. I honestly really love both of these individually too but I think the shades of them combined I love. I have the e.l.f. hydrating camo concealer and I have it in the color fair beige so I'm going to do a, a little bit of that. And then I'm going to do a little bit of my Revolution Conceal and the Fine Concealer in the 4.5 shade. I absolutely love this drugstore concealer, this Conceal and the Fine by Revolution. It has the best texture. I don't really even need to set it with powder. It just kind of looks perfect the way it is. <laughs> I think I mentioned this one in one of my favorite at the drugstore. Um, videos and I absolutely love it still and just blend it all in before I do anything else I want to finish up my eyes and for my inner corner I want to get the color enjoy the view I thought this would be a very pretty inner corner highlighter 
So let me pop it right here in the center. And I'm using a refer number 12 brush for this. This is a perfect inner corner color for sure. With my refer number 13, I'm going to go back to the color branch out. Just grab a little bit of it and I'm going to put it right underneath my lower lash line right here at the end first and blend it inwards. And make sure you blend it back here with the top of the eye. And with the same brush to smoke that out, get the color bloom just like we did on top and pop it back and forth right underneath that brown. For my waterline, I have the perfect drugstore color, and that is the Infallible Pro Last Eyeliner, and I have mine in the color Burgundy. So I'm just going to pop it right here in my waterline. Okay, and this is the look after the eyeliner. For mascara, I'm going to use the Lash Princess Mascara from Essence. I absolutely love this mascara, and the way it makes my lashes look, it does transfer quite a bit, but it is such a nice volumizing, lengthening mascara. I love it. Okay, I'm back with mascara on and the eye look is fully done. And this is what I came up with. This is what it looks like. I honestly really love the color selection in this Milani palette. I find it to be a very full palette with like a couple of light pink exceptions but at the same time i kind of feel like these are colors that i can definitely myself wear year round a little bit disappointed in this gold right here but the greens in this palette are very beautiful for 1999 i think it's definitely worth a try and i really like this eye look that i ended up with Okay, let's keep going. I have put zero powder on my face so far. And the next product we are going to try is going to be this Milani blush right here. Let me go ahead and swatch it first. It feels very liquidy kind of, like a very thin type of texture. I really like this color that I got in Nude Kiss. And I think I'll go for the Beauty Blender application. Look at how dewy that looks on the skin. Very pigmented right away. I'm going back with the tip of the Beauty Blender to make it look a little bit more natural. <laughs> Obviously, I think it looks a little weird right now because I usually have a ton of bronzer on by the time I get to the blush, but I wanted to try it with no bronzer underneath just so that you could see the true color of it and not the color on top of a bronzer. I definitely love how dewy the formula is and the pigment went on right away i really like the way it looks actually i'm happy two out of two so far i like the palette i love the blush i'm going to go in with my butter bronzer by physicians formula and bronze up this face and then we'll go into the highlighter i'm applying the bronzer with my 24 brush from refer by the way for the sake of this video and to show you without a bronzer i applied the blush first but i think I would have preferred to do the bronzer first because now it's looking a little bit weird tapped into the blush but maybe once I like blend it in a little further with the beauty blender that'll go away. Okay I went ahead and finished applying my bronzer and now I'm going with nothing on my beauty blender I'm just going over my under eye area and the blush and with the booty of the beauty blender which has a little bit of blush left in it I'm going over the bronzer a little bit where the two meet and that definitely helped to solve my muddiness problem that I was having. It wasn't super noticeable but I could tell and after I went back with the Beauty Blender it definitely went away. I think ideally just apply your bronzer first and then just use your blush in the Beauty Blender over top of it and that will do the trick. Now last but not least let's get our hands into this highlighter here. I don't think I've ever tried a highlighter from Physicians Formula before. I definitely am obsessed with the Physicians Formula bronzer. It's my favorite drugstore bronzer, but I am very curious about this one. And the packaging drew me in a little bit because it looks like a diamond. It's called Diamond Dust. So let's see what it feels like. Ooh, softer than I... Th <gasps> Wait a minute. Not exactly the same, but this feels like that highlighter from Fenty. Is that one called Diamond Dust too? I feel like that one might be called Diamond Dust too. This is a dupe for that. Let me look it up. Hold on. I'm excited. 
By the way, before I forget, the Milani Cream Blush was $8.99 and the Physicians Formula Highlighter is $13.99. Okay, the fancy one is called Diamond Bomb, and this one is called Diamond Dust. They don't feel exactly the same. I feel like the fancy one is a little bit of a wetter formula, but they come very close. And I feel like the camera doesn't pick up those kinds of colors very good, but they are a very sheer, sparkly, very finely milled type of highlighter. I'm excited. I this was not what I was expecting when I ordered it I thought it was just going to be a regular highlighter but I really love these like glimmery no undertone no base type of products so let's go ahead and apply it I'm going to apply it with this highlighter brush from Kaleidos I'm hoping you guys are seeing it so pretty and you can add a little extra with your fingers if you like it is a three out of three for these affordable products. Honestly, I can tell you all right now, I like them. I really like each and every single one of these, so I'm very excited that I picked them up. I bought all three of these at Ulta, so I'm going to leave you the links to the Ulta website down below in case you guys want to pick it up. Look at my glowy cheeks. So cute. Let me see what I want to do for lips. Okay, I just tried to do a drugstore lip combo, but it's not the right colors for this eye look that I'm wearing. It was a little orangey and I need something a little bit more cool tone, something a little bit pinkier. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do a drugstore lipstick because I honestly can't find anything in the colors that I need from the drugstore. I don't own a lot of drugstore lip products which note to self i need to expand my drugstore lip product knowledge i need to explore some drugstore lipstick so if you have a favorite drugstore lipstick formula leave it down in the comment section and i will be on the hunt for some new drugstore lipstick because i need some so anyways all that to say i'm going to wear something non-drugstore on my lips actually no need i just found my favorite drugstore lipstick and this will match I'm applying the L'Oreal liquid lipstick in the color I create. I love, love, love this lipstick formula and this lipstick color. I think it's absolute perfection. This color goes with anything and everything. And I love how this formula feels like you're putting water on your lips, but then it dries down to a beautiful natural to matte finish. So good. All right, so this is it. Needless to say, I absolutely love the way everything looks. I'm obsessed with that Physicians Formula Highlighter. You guys need to absolutely try it because it is so glowy and shiny. It doesn't have a base, so it'll go with absolutely any product that you put on your face with it. And look at that beautiful glow. If you guys are into cream blushes, definitely also check out the Milani Cream Blushes because also very nice and glowy very natural looking and i really love the color i chose for myself very easy to put on so very impressed with that one as well and lastly this milani palette only 20 dollars ulta is always having coupons and discounts so you can probably get it for less than that and for that price i think it's totally worth it to have it i really like the look i created i'm only a little disappointed in the performance off that gold shade because the green performs so good and the gold was a little finicky with my fingers it actually melted into my eyes very nicely but with the brush it was not working at all and as far as the matte shades in the palette you can absolutely work with them to make them blend very nicely into one another so overall i really liked all three products that i tried in this video please let me know down in the comment section if you guys like this video if you want more videos like this one i only picked up three things because those were the ones that had come out that like interest me at the time but if you guys ever see a new drugstore product coming out that you want me to review because you're excited about it please message me on instagram and let me know um, because i would love to continue to make more drugstore videos like this one so if you liked it don't forget to let me know down in the comment section don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and also 
make sure to let me know what products from the drugstore you're interested in me reviewing and I will go ahead and pick those up. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel yet, I would love it if you went ahead and hit the red subscribe button, hit the notifications bell if you want to get notified anytime that I upload. I don't have a set schedule so that helps me let you know when the video is being uploaded. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye!